Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a really quick, simple, and easy tutorial. This is really what I've been going for even for the workday. Just something maybe where I really don't want to wear makeup and I don't have a lot of time. This takes me anywhere five, no more than ten minutes. I can do this in five minutes, um, which happens a lot uh, because I'm too tired, but I want to feel put together. So it's kind of a fresh face tutorial. Um, you can call it the no makeup makeup tutorial where it, you know it doesn't really look like you're wearing pounds and pounds of makeup but you still look put together and especially because I wanted to kind of show you guys me using the IT Cosmetics CC cream or I actually even show you alternatives that you can use like BB creams, the Maybelline BB cream, um, the Dream Pure I think it's called um, and that's my other alternative that I really like, Drugstore and you know in case you can't afford this, I bought the sample size just to try it out and I've actually really been loving it. I'm just showing you guys what a little bit of color correction can do for you, hiding the redness, hiding the dark circles underneath your eyes and if you'll see from the picture um, you know just kind of showing the difference between no makeup at all and just a little bit of something it's not too much it's something really quick and easy so for those of you who in general who have those days where you don't have much time but you need to like you know seem as though you did not just wake up like this because that is not always <laughs> your favorite look especially if you have to go somewhere a little bit more important or for those of you who just don't like a lot of makeup so if you guys want to see how I got this look just keep on watching so I'm gonna start off by priming my face and you can use a drugstore like the Maybelline Blur and Illuminate Primer or the Cover FX which is what I'm going to use Illuminating Primer because I have dry skin and I really want the luminosity to come out and have more of a luminous glowy look. Then I'm going to go in with the IT Cosmetics CC Cream but if you want a drugstore alternative I really love the Maybelline Dream Pure BB Cream as well. I use the IT Cosmetics one in the color light and I'll list my Maybelline color down below as well but um, I would say that the Maybelline one they come off a little bit lighter I would say so maybe get a shade up than you would think you would be. So I'm just going to go ahead and pat that all over my face with the Beauty Blender. And then I'm going to go in with concealer and I'm going to use the Rimmel Matte Perfection, very lightweight concealer. Um, and just put that underneath my eyes and I'm using a lightweight one since the IT Cosmetics also is a lightweight product. We're not trying to do heavy duty, we're still trying to make the skin look like skin. And then after that to go ahead I'm going to use the NYX HD Finishing Powder and just lightly just set my under eyes because it is a very nice light powder. For my brows, I'm going to use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil and I'm not going to define, I'm just lightly going to be filling everything in. Um, I have pretty like thicker in the sense of brows, <laughs> so I'm just lightly filling in where I need to fill in and this honestly takes a minute. Or you can use like a brow gel if you really don't want to use pencil, but I swear this takes me a minute because I'm not doing anything special, but it makes a difference. To set your face, you can use the MAC Miller Lite Skin Finish or the Maybelline Dream Wonder. Both of these are really light powders. I'm going to be using the MAC and with a dual fiber brush, just lightly add some powder to set my face. For bronzer, you can use the Bobbi Brown or the NYC Bronzer. I'm going to go ahead and use the Bobbi Brown just because mainly I need to kind of use this up. <laughs> I'm almost done with it. You can skip bronzer or you can do bronzer and blush. For blush, I like to use something that's a little bit more baked. So you can use something like the MAC Dainty or a Milani blush. Um, I really like those because since I'm not going to use highlighter, they kind of have that highlighting effect. They give you that really nice glow and life back to the cheeks. For mascara, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Voluminous Curved Brush Mascara and I want something voluminous and lengthening. Um, not too crazy but it's going to bring some life and play my lashes up a little bit more since we're really not going to do anything else with the eyes. Something additional you can use is use the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Eyeliner in the color Nude. This is optional, but if you put it in your waterline, it'll really open up your eyes, especially since you're not going to be doing much. And for the lips, I'm going to use the CoverGirl Jumbo Gloss Balm in the color Berries and Creams, which is a really nice, your lips will better. If you're of darker skin tone, it's going to suit you well. And add some Max Fix Plus if you're dry, but if you're not, you can skip this step and just use your makeup setting spray. And I'm going to use the Urban Decay D slick setting spray and that is all I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick simple easy makeup tutorial make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time